I know that a lot of you will be firing up the grill on this 4th of July, and the folks at Longhorn Steakhouse hope that you drop by their restaurant to get your steak fix, but they also have some tips for making that perfect at-home grilling experience possible. David Haller with Longhorn Steakhouse joins us in the kitchen this morning with some great tips and some great advice for grilling this, this 4th of July season. you got some exciting things going on there at Longhorn Steakhouse. Tell us, give us a little taste Pleasure of what's going on over well, there. We what we have done at Longhorn, we've set up a grilling hotline right. where you can get a uh, text GRILL to 55702. That's it. And you're able to uh, ask questions and get some tips along the way for, for, for grilling season. And it's just not, it's just not steaks. It's, it's everything. It's just not steaks. Ribs, right. chicken, mm -hmm. whatever you think you could grill, we could give you some tips on that. And we're going to give you some tips today right here in our kitchen. And we're That's going to right. start with steaks. Get us started. Well, we're going to talk about the picking the right cut of steak. Right. So what we have here is we have our filet, which is the most tender cut mm -hmm. of meat we have in the house. And then uh, right here is our sirloin, which is very tender as well. Right. It's lean, uh, very beefy. Yes. Okay. And then the bone-in ribeye, and what we have, mm. you see the white here is the marbling throughout right. the ribeye, plus this bone when you're grilling it adds a lot of flavor to that And people that stuff. don't realize that when you get that bone-in ribeye, you're getting a very, very special cut of meat. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And today you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do the filet for us. We're going to cook the filet. What do you look for when you're looking at a filet? Well, it depends on how you want to want it cooked. Mm -hmm. I like mine cooked medium rare. Right. And uh, which our medium rare has a warm red center with a hint of pink. So you want a thick filet like I've chosen here. You've got two nice ones there. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, the next step to a perfect steak is to season that steak. So I'm going to grab this filet right here. Now, okay. we at Longhorn boldly season our steaks. <laughs> we're not shy about putting seasoning. I highly suggest you do the same. I like the way the you same. think. Yes. Now, when, when we're grilling our steaks, we have our signature blend here, which is a secret. But you can achieve similar flavors by uh, kosher salt, uh, granulated onion powder, okay. fresh cracked peppercorn, and granulated garlic. Okay. But here Very we're nice. gonna we're gonna season our steak. One pass is sufficient. You just want it covered good. Right. And then uh, we use canola oil because it has a low smoking point there. All right. Okay. And we are gonna put that bad boy here. And, we're and gonna I love that sound right there sizzle, when you hear that yes. sizzling sound. Yes. Right. And as it's cooking, you want it to, you know, flip it every three to four minutes until you get your desired doneness. And let's talk about doneness. You know, mm -hmm. you were talking about a medium to medium rare. Mm -hmm. It's a different taste for different folks. Right. You really don't want to go completely blown out well done on it. Some well, people I, like it that way. I don't now. Yeah. My children, my right. wife, and they all eat it medium rare. They, yeah. You know, but some I people... I like mine about medium. Yeah. Okay, so our medium would be a warm pink center at Longhorn. And I know my wife likes a rare. She just likes to and get it down there and get it brown on either side. Rare is a plate. cold red center. Yeah, yeah. So that's the way yeah. she likes that's it. That's right. But you will, I mean, when you come to Longhorn, Horn, you're they're gonna you're gonna fix the steak exactly like the folks want it. That's right. That is, that is our goal to always cook it perfectly for you. And a lot of folks also you want to use tongs. You never want to use a fork or something to poke into. Well, the meat. you know we we cook two different ways. Mm -hmm. At Longhorn we use a flat top grill. Right. Or we use a char grill, which right. is open flames. Okay. Right. Now open flames we use the we use tongs. Right. When we're cooking over the char grill, but when you use a flat top, typically you want to use a spatula. All That's right. what we do so that we don't lose any of that seasoning off right. that steak. All right, he's got one done over here. We're going to come back in a little while and show you how to do chicken and ribs. It's, it's all about Longhorn Steakhouse here in the kitchen today with some great, some great tips. If you want to find out more, go to text GRILL to 55702. But Longhorn Steakhouse, a couple of locations here in Johnson City and in Kingsport as well.